classic tool to use for agile development is a way to manage the stories, the backlog. Uh, at this point, there are so many kinds of tools out there uh, that you could use. Uh, specifically here at Yeti, we use both Pivotal Tracker and Jira uh, on different projects. Uh, essentially, uh, let's say Jira, for example, it lets you create sprints, it lets you add point estimates to your stories, you can group them. Uh, into epics, you can log bugs, and it helps you to prioritize the stories, uh, see for the current sprint what stories are still yet to be worked on, what are which ones are in progress, uh, which ones are finished and need review. Uh, it really helps you manage the flow of accomplishing the stories and organizing them into the sprints. So I mean, generally they they can be called multiple different things. The most generic term for those kind of tools might just be like an issue tracking system. Specifically in, in uh, our scenario, we're talking really about agile, they might be called scrum boards is another example. Essentially a scrum board is showing the stories that are being worked on for the current sprint to their point estimates and uh, what status they're in. For uh, development, we use uh, GitHub and essentially the, the reason for using GitHub is it has a really nice GUI for making uh, pull requests and specifically doing code review. You can essentially, when someone on the team has finished a feature, uh, they've worked on one of their user stories, you can go look at the user story that their code is for, get some kind of the background and the acceptance criteria, and then you can go through and look at their t look at the pull request, make a code review, uh, do, it, do it in respective to the user story. Uh, we also use Slack for communication. Uh, since we're iterating quickly, we want to make sure everyone's on the same page. Often you'll just leave a message in the Slack channel for the project you're working on. That way conversations don't get lost between two people just chatting themselves. Uh, the whole team can go look at that message whenever they get a free, free chance uh, so they can keep uh, kind of in sync, uh, making sure what, some decision isn't made that someone else maybe would have made a different decision or has some input on that decision. For design and development collaboration or even design in kind of the PM or stakeholders, we use uh, Envision and we use Zeppelin. So essentially Envision is for creating a prototype uh, out of mockups, essentially really to get through, to demo maybe the navigation and a little bit of how the UI would behave when you're clicking through a prototype. It helps get uh, more feedback from stakeholders or the PM what's happening. It also lets the developers see pseudo how the application maybe should work. Uh, and Zeppelin is great for design to share design assets with the development team. Essentially you can put color codes in there, you can uh, upload your mockups from Sketch or some other tool to show font sizes, weights, margins, padding, uh, icons, and the developers can easily get notified via, via our Slack integration that something new was uploaded to Zeppelin. And they can go in there and check out the screen that they're working on and be able to very, very uh, detailed information about the styling related aspects of that screen.